Well, good day, folks. Welcome to the MB Wildman channel. Uh, on today's episode, we're going to talk about a real quick mink set uh, that I make underneath bridges. So that's obviously why I'm standing in the water uh, underneath this bridge. So uh, this is a real quick, easy set to put in. I put two of these at every, uh, at every little bridge crossing I've got on my trap line. They're great for mink and muskrat, and uh, they're quick and easy to do. I just want to give you a quick look. No bait required, so you just got to grab your trap, grab your pail, and uh, I'm going to show you how to, how to set one of these blind sets up for mink under a bridge using a concrete, uh, concrete structure. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Wild Man channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, turn on that bell so that you get notified when we upload new content. And uh, as always, we're looking for feedback, you know, questions, comments, whatever you got. Uh, go ahead, leave them down below. Uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can. So uh, today, uh, we're going to look at uh, using a one, uh, uh, using one conibear uh, for, the, for each set. Uh, and I, like I say, I usually put two sets under each bridge just to make sure I cover, kind of cover both ways on the concrete uh, abutment. Um, I like to use um, 120s, uh, you can use 110s, you can use whatever your favorite trap is, you know, whatever your favorite conibear trap is for mink uh, or muskrat. Um, I'm partial to 160s, I like them, they're good and strong. A little overkill for mink, but you never know what you're gonna get coming along. I have caught the occasional otter in a 160 and it was able to hold it, so um, I just, uh, I, I like those. Uh, I got a bunch of them on sale, so I use those a lot too. So uh, let me set this up and I'm gonna show it to you real quick and explain how it goes and uh, hopefully you can use it out on the line. So all you're gonna need for this, uh, like say is your conibear trap, I, I use 160, uh, your setters if you use setters to do them and you're gonna need a rebar stake. Uh, so I use these T-stakes that I've used. This is about 24 inches long just with a little six inch T welded at the top, half inch rebar. Uh, I use that a lot. So what you'll see is that underneath most bridges that you come to as long as you know as long as your water depth isn't super duper deep you know like i'm just re wearing a regular set of waders here um as long as it's not super deep what you'll find is that there's usually a concrete abutment uh running the length of it back and forth and there's one on each side right so i'm not talking about you know the golden gate bridge i'm talking about bridges out in the country on your trap line so this is what we're this is what we're meaning but uh, this blind set for mink works really well, especially in areas where it kind of narrows naturally like this. Mink will work the edges. Uh, they'll, they'll run up and down this concrete. They'll run the edges of this water looking for crayfish or frogs or minnows or whatever it is they're looking for to eat. And they will, they will typically run the bank and swim the bank, some of each or both. And what we want to do is want to catch them as they travel. So uh, let me take a minute and set this up and then I'll show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, all we do, or all I do, I guess, is uh, I take my trap and uh, I take my piece of rebar here and I put it across the top of the concrete and I, I jam it in there. Or sometimes I'll put a rock right here to weight it down if it's not exactly uh, solid, but this one's pretty secure. Put the loop of my conibear uh, up against the T and just let it hang down over the edge of the concrete. So this is actually just suspended in the water. And I make sure, make sure that the dog, okay, is on that side so that it can, uh, it can open freely. It's not against the concrete wall here. Uh, and then I run my, my second spring, I bend it at a 90 degree angle. So you can see it under the water there, how it's, how it's out this way. And you can either take your second stake and drive it through that spring down into the ground, or you can use, uh, you can use the trap chain, uh, if yours has a, you know, a loop like that, uh, to stabilize the trap. These ones here will usually, I mean, this is a quick kill trap, so everything's usually stuck right here when I get it, but, um, on the you know sometimes you'll get a raccoon that'll work these sets a little bit of these areas and if you get a bigger animal uh you do want that second stake usually stuck in there so um quick and easy and you're in and you're out in no time to set these up and like I say mink and muskrat will work this edge and they'll swim along and they'll come up to this spring uh, and they'll come up to this and they'll kind of duck under it to go through it to work that edge and then that's where they'll be when you come back. So um, anyway, I hope this helps you out. Just a quick and simple little set that you can make um, as you're uh, 
as you're out on your line for mink and muskrat. Uh, I usually put one on each side, just depending on what the, the bank looks like and how easy it is to get sets in. Um, they're easy to check too, right? You just kind of got to scoot down and look under the bridge and you can see right away if they're snapped or not, or if there's anything in your trap. So uh, again, uh, easy to do. So I uh, hope this helps you out and I uh, hope you can use this on your line and have some success with it like I have. And uh, until next time, happy hunting from the MD Wildman channel.